What's up guys and Merry Christmas from everyone here at AMZ with Andy Isom. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you guys some of the giveaways that we did this holiday season and also share with you guys three gifts that keep on giving for your Amazon business after the holidays as we move into 2024. Got a couple other episodes coming out here over the next few days to share with you guys our year in review and also talk about big goals and plans to help you guys in 2024. But I'm very blessed, guys, for the support that I've received this year. It's been a great year for our brand, for our business, for my business, and it was really fun to be able to give back to you guys. We did the biggest giveaway we have ever done here at AMZ with Andy Isom, 19 prizes given away this holiday season, including 10 Amazon gift cards. We gave away a Jaguar package worth well over $10,000, an Anaconda package. We gave away private coaching calls, six months of private coaching. We gave away PPC management. We gave away a photography package to get photos for your listing. We gave away a, a PP, PPC setup for someone. We did a full brand audit winner. We had so many prizes that we gave away this holiday season. So congrats to all of the winners and thank you so much to everyone who entered those giveaways. Hopefully we can do the same thing again next year. I, I love surprises. I love giving gifts a lot more than I like receiving them, especially at this stage of my life. So again, it's really, really fun to be able to do that. And uh, like I said, I hope that we can do more of that next year as well for you guys. Now it's Christmas. I, I'm gonna guess guys that you're probably not gonna be listening to this episode on Christmas day. Spend time with your families, with your kids, your loved ones, obviously. But if you do get a chance to, you know, check out this podcast episode again, Merry Christmas to you guys. This is by far the best time of the year. I know there might be other holidays that people like more than Christmas. I know people who are big fans of Halloween or Fourth of July is their favorite holiday. But, you know, the spirit of giving, the spirit in the air around the holiday season in December and like, you know, wrapping up the year, it's, I think it's at a perfect point of the year, honestly. I love that Christmas is the last month of the year because it kind of it, it kind of helps us end on a positive because, <laughs> you know, you feel like you go through a full year, especially when you think about like, oh, January, you set all these goals for yourself. And I'm not just talking business. I'm just talking like personal goals. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to be fit. I'm going to read books. I'm going to learn piano, whatever your goals were. And then, you know, the grind of the year just kind of feels like kind of wears you down a little bit. At least sometimes I feel that way. And it's nice to, you know, at this very end, the home stretch of the year, it feels like, oh, we get to just enjoy. We just get to enjoy each other. Uh, we get to enjoy family, Christmas parties, listen to the uplifting Christmas music. If you're like me, I got it on repeat at my house. And, you know, obviously celebrate Christmas morning. If you have kids, you know how exciting that can be. And now that I have kids that are, they're still really young, don't get me wrong. But uh, as they're growing, it's fun to kind of rekindle that Christmas spirit that I remember having as a kid. And then of course, right over this next week, it's kind of like, uh, it, it, I remember as a kid, it was just that vacation mode of every morning, you were just excited to get up, go downstairs. And again, just kind of like play with whatever the toys were that you got. I, I know that when I was a teenager, I have two brothers and we're all close in age. When we were teenagers, we were, we were always getting some sort of video game, something. We were no different from any other teenagers even now. So it was just, you know, Christmas break, no school, wake up in the morning, go downstairs and literally just like play whatever our new video game or new Xbox or new Nintendo GameCube or whatever it was for that year. We were to spend time just like on the couch. Our stuff is just laying everywhere, but we didn't care. So uh, such a good time. We wait till January to clean up the mess. Just enjoy it while we can enjoy this time. I wanted to share with you guys three gifts that keep on giving. So long-term strategies for success with your Amazon business beyond the holidays. Again, I kind of wanted to focus this around the Christmas theme. The first gift that I wanted to talk about today is the gift of data insight. So this would be a gift of data analysis. Now, I know that's a daunting task for a lot of people out there looking at the numbers, trying to analyze the numbers. But really, guys, the data that we collect, especially during this holiday season, is extremely, extremely valuable. I would say from you know the middle of November through Thanksgiving, Black Friday, all the way up 
till today, Christmas, right? We've been able to gather, hopefully you too, regardless of where you're at with your business, an increase in sales, right? We've sold more units, hopefully, and seen a nice little spike in sales. Don't neglect those numbers. Don't neglect those numbers. Go back, take some time now to go back, look at that data that you've gathered over the past month, see what sold, which of your products sold the best. Go analyze your PPC. What campaigns had the best performance? What keywords were clicked on and converting the best for you. Go check out your brand analytics in Amazon Seller Central and see, you know, where were you ranking compared to your competitors? Where were you ranking for specific keywords? What were those click-through rates and those metrics, right, that you can see? Because during this time of year, right, when we're able to gather a lot of data in a short, relatively short time frame, we can use that information to make informed decisions that are going to affect us here going into the new year for the next, you know, eight to nine months until we hit fourth quarter of 2024. So use that data, that data, uh, those insights, that information is going to be a gift for you guys that if you, you know, look at it properly and make some good business decisions off that data. It's that gift that's going to keep on giving into the beginning of 2024, you know, throughout the rest of that year. Now, there is a software tool and this is not sponsored by the way, but this is a software tool that I, I actually recently started using with my own brand. This tool is called Sellerboard. It's a third party software similar to like Jungle Scout that connects to your Amazon account and it breaks down really well all of the data metrics for your Amazon, your Amazon business. So you can see right here from the dashboard sales from today, yesterday, month to date, this month forecast, last month. So the cool thing about this software, and I know that Jungle Scout does have their built in profit and loss report that again is very useful, but this goes a bit more in depth. It goes a bit more in depth on a lot of the different numbers here and you can quickly see like which specific products were selling the best depending on you know which time frame you're looking at and again I'm showing this on screen if you're on YouTube but uh, you can click on month today and you can see exactly what SKUs were selling the best you can see the profit for every single SKU and there's all sorts of reports here there's all sorts of different ways to look at the data this is something that we've been using for our own brand and this is also something that we use for our clients that we manage their PPC in their SEO for them. So it's been something that's been really useful. So anyone that signs up for our PPC management service, this is something that we've been implementing in that as well. So we're able to, again, provide these insights, provide these numbers and set go weekly goals for our students or our clients, and then use the data to see how well we're reaching those goals, whether it's to lower ACOS or lower tacos, or is it to increase sales or is it to increase profitability? We can see this very, very simply with this tool. So uh, I just thought I'd just mention that really quickly too here with the data side of things as we talk about analyzing and really understanding our data. Because when I know a lot of people out there really don't know what their numbers are. And it can be kind of, it, it's I'm not going to lie, it's, it's kind of tough to really see those numbers well in Amazon Seller Central. Especially like when you're getting payouts and people are like, Andy, I don't even know how the payouts work. I don't know where these sales are from. I don't know how it's, I don't even know if I'm profitable, right? And you kind of get to that point where you're like, it'd be really nice to know how much profit I'm actually making. Am I actually actually making money. So whether you use Jungle Scout's built-in profit and loss tool, or, you know, if you use a tool like Sellerboard, like we've been using, super, super powerful. So I'll throw a link, guys, in the description for you guys to check out Sellerboard. And actually through my link, you're going to get two months for free. And it's a pretty cheap software. Like, you know, Jungle Scout, you're looking at 70 bucks a month. This is, I believe it's only like $15 a month starting out. So it, it, it's really, really focused on analyzing the data. It doesn't have like the keyword tools and that that Jungle Scout has. It's very good though at looking at your numbers, looking at your advertising analytics and, and really making predictions for the future. So you can say, okay, this is what I predict we can make in profit next month or the rest of this month. So really cool software tool, super affordable, two free months, guys, check it out. Okay, the second gift that keeps on giving, guys, that I wanted to talk about is the gift of diversification. It's becoming more important, guys, to diversify your offerings in the marketplace. And what diversifying essentially means, right, is more SKUs. So we're piggybacking off of what I've been preaching for years now of more marketing, more SKUs. More SKUs, more diversification, more variations, more product lines. Guys, the biggest thing that this is going to do, I mean, I should say the biggest 
biggest thing is it's going to increase your sales potential because instead of having one SKU out there selling five units a day, if you have five SKUs, five variations, five products selling five units a day, now you're selling 25 units a day. Guys, the only reason, the only reason that my brand, that Remy and Rue can sell $120,000, $150,000 a month is because I have 90 SKUs. I think we have something like 90 now, 80 to 90 SKUs. 80. Well, let's say 80. That's probably safer. 80 SKUs, guys. 80. I know a lot of people who are out there and they got one product, one SKU, or maybe two or three SKUs. They're like, Andy, I have, I'm stuck. I'm only selling $3,000 a month. I'm like, yeah, so I would be selling $3,000 a month too if I only had two SKUs. If you want to sell $100,000 a month like me, go make 60 more products. That's it. That's all you have to do. Well, one of my best friends that I partnered with with his brand, it was the same thing. It was like he had two SKUs and it was like, you know, selling $2,000 a month. We're like, let's grow this thing. I'm like, okay, let's do more marketing and more SKUs. It's that simple. So that's all we did. We did more ads. We started running more campaigns, Amazon PPC. And then we came out with four new SKUs. And surprise, we were at $10,000 a month. Guys, that is really what it comes down to is more SKUs. Just set a goal to come out with no more SKUs, more variations, more product lines. And here's the other thing. This is what I was going to say. We're like the big benefit. Honestly, the big benefit is probably making more money. But the second big benefit, they're both big, is that it reduces risk. Now you might think, well, Andy, how does coming out with more SKUs reduce risk? Because for me, coming out with more SKUs means I got to spend more money to make more products. It reduces risk in the sense that if something happens to one of your SKUs, it stops selling. A competitor comes along. You have more SKUs to keep you up, to keep you floating, to keep you going. Guys, it's the same concept with like investing in the stock market. You're investing in your business when when you come out with more SKUs. You're investing in your business the same way that someone buying stocks in the stock market is diversifying their portfolio by buying multiple different stocks. Most, I'm not a financial advisor, it's not like financial advice by any means, but like I would assume most financial advisors would advise against putting all hundred thousand dollars that you have into Walmart stock or Coca-Cola stock. And they might be good stocks. Honestly, Tesla, Apple, Ant, like one of those, it might be a pretty good stock. But still, as a financial advisor, they're probably going to say, hey, look, instead of putting all $100,000 in Apple stock, why don't we diversify that? Yeah, Apple might be the best, safest bet, right? But stuff happens, crap happens, or it might be a slower grower, you know, over the next 10 years. So let's put maybe 20 grand into Apple. And with the other $80,000 that you still have, let's go buy some McDonald's stock, some some Walmart, some Tesla, some Disney, some, you know, whatever S&P 500 or, or, you know, stocks you want to go after and get and you diversify because then if something happened, guys, you just don't know what's going to happen. If something happened to Apple or Walmart or, you know, whoever the stock is, Coca-Cola, you're not like out on the street, like crap, I just lost all of my money because it was all in Coca-Cola stock. You're diversified. So you're safe. It's the same thing with your business. The same thing with Amazon. If you've got multiple product lines, multiple SKUs, yeah, someone could come and undercut your, you know, Tumblr product line, and maybe you dip in sales on that product line, but you also got a product line of other, I don't know, I'm just like spitballing here, other uh, styles of cups or travel things, or I don't know, I'm just thinking of like stuff women would maybe have in their car, but you've got other product lines, right? So those can keep you, like those can still keep you up. So if one dips a little, you're not out on the street, you've got five other product lines, 30 other SKUs that are pulling their weight, doing their thing. So when you're just constantly innovating, constantly constantly thinking about new products and new product lines, it reduces that risk of something happening. The supplier can't make that product anymore. Something goes wrong. You've got other products, other things to keep your business going. It's the same thing, guys, of diversifying once you can like diversify off of Amazon. Get your own store sh- set up. Get on Etsy. Go to walmart.com. Get in retail. I don't care. Like diversify in all the avenues that you can. It's going to be more work, which is why I normally recommend people start on Amazon and then diversify diversify, you know, a few years down the road when you're growing, but like diversify is going to help reduce risk. The last gift guys that keeps on giving, that's going to keep on giving for you into 2024 is the gift of engaged customer relationships. Okay. Do not neglect your customer. If I could say anything that for our brand, right? Remy and Rue, that truly sets us apart from the other brands out there is the value that we put in the customer relationship. A lot of our competitors, they sell, like, don't get me wrong. They get sales 
sales for like, you know, dog bananas, they're selling, but they don't have a relationship with their customer. And the reason why I know they don't have a relationship with their customer is there's a lot of brands out there that don't have a social media presence. They don't have a website. They're not going to in-person events. They're not selling on their own store. They're not emailing their customers, right? They're not creating content. They're not messaging their customers. So there's no relationship being built with their customers. There's no community being developed. If you can create engaged customer relationships with your brand, that is how you're going to thrive long-term. So think about all the different ways that you can engage with your customers. And that's what's going to help you, again, stay relevant. So when customers are leaving reviews on your products, go read the reviews, read them. What do they like? What do they genuinely not like? And make changes. Encourage them to share your products, right? On social media. And when they do acknowledge it, reshare it, repost it, comment, message them, whether it's on TikTok or Instagram, Twitter, wherever they're posting, acknowledge it. And one thing that we've been doing over the past few years is we go to Pinner's Conference every year to engage and get face to face and talk to our customers and get feedback and, you know, say hi and build a relationship with them. Guys, those are the people who are going to help you come out with new product ideas. The entire reason we came out with an extra large size for our product, we used to just have small and large, was because we'd simply just listen to our customers. Guys, the reason we came out with more boy designs, because we had been selling a lot of girl designs because they sold really well, is because our customers asked for those. We ask our customers, what designs do you want? What styles? What colors? What shapes? What products do you want? We just engage with our customers and they will tell you what they want. Then you don't have to guess. Then you know the next one that you put out is going to be a winner because you're just giving your customers exactly what they're asking for. So create those engaged relationships. Just envision in your head every single sale that comes through on Amazon that you see, bing, got a sale. Imagine that person as becoming an engaged customer and think about creative ways you can engage them or create that relationship with that person. Because I promise if you develop that simple relationship, it doesn't have to be something great. You don't got to go out to dinner with them. But if you can create a simple relationship with every single customer, they're going to be so much more willing to share your product with others. And they're going to become a brand ambassador for you forever. And again, that's just going to help your brand thrive even more as things you know, continue to get more competitive in, in business period. Right. So guys, hopefully that, hopefully you can implement some of these gifts this holiday season. Again, shout out to all of our gift winners, giveaway winners this year. I look forward again to enjoying the holidays. First of all, second of all, getting after it here in 2024. So got, again, got some upcoming episodes to uh, talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about my year in review. We're going to talk about big goals for 2024. And again, one more, one more mention, check the description of the podcast podcast for links to my products, my courses. You guys, you can hop on a free call with my team anytime. Okay. We're here. We're happy to chat with you guys. So if, if you're like, Hey Andy, I just, I want to do this. I want help. Or you're already selling, go to my website. There's a button that says start here. Literally will ask you like five questions and let's get a call booked and let's talk about how we can help. I guarantee we can help you in probably some way, whether that's setting up some ads, running your ads for you, doing an audit of your brand, reviewing a product idea or joining one of the programs. Guys, we've got stuff for everyone. So don't hesitate to reach out, click, hit the website. Like I said, click that start here and we'll uh, get a call booked to just do a nice quick chat with you guys to see how we can help. Once again, guys, I'm Andy. You're listening to Selling on Amazon with Andy Isom. We'll see you in the next episode.